the damage here pales in comparison to what we saw when we flew in a Coast Guard plane over Grand Bahama and Abaco Islands. 180 mile an hour winds tore through neighborhoods like a buzzsaw. We also met people like Sandra Cook, who was just learning the fate of one of her relatives. What are you most worried about? Well, I, I actually have a lot to be grateful for right now. My, my family was flown in this morning. My brother's roof collapsed on my sister-in-law. She was trapped underneath the roof for 17 hours. He couldn't find her. The dog found her, but he couldn't get her out. So it was 17 hours later that neighbors were able to come and help. Just terrifying, and many hurricane survivors have been flown out of the hurricane zone to Nassau, which was spared. Our Nikki Batiste is also in Nassau and has heard some incredible stories from those who made it out. Glad to be alive. Uh, this is the second time in my life. I should have. I should have been dead. <laughs> But 75-year-old Doug lived to tell a harrowing story of survival after his home, a boat, was swept away, leaving him in debris-filled water. I had spent hours like this. Water up to here. Yeah. He was rescued from Abaco Island yesterday and flown to Princess Margaret Hospital. He says just in time to save his legs from amputation. Everywhere. Believe in God. <laughs> About 13 miles from the hospital, helicopters continue to fly in survivors, like one-year-old Rain and her mother, Austina Dean. That kept me going was the child. That was it. I looked at her and I was like, nope, my baby's not going out like this. Her entire family was rescued from Abaco Island today, including 11-year-old Zion. My heart just stopped, like, it, like I stopped, like... I, I was panicking. I couldn't. I, I opened my eyes wide. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Everything gone. People going through the water with dead bodies. Some that swim to dead bodies. For now, Austina says they're heading to stay with family in Nassau. You're alive. You're alive. But their future is still unclear. Do you have any idea where you'll be in a month, two months? No. Hopefully, still alive and. Um, we're here, so we're hopeful, and we're gonna. We made it through that, so we're gonna do our best to make it through this. Hospital staffers here at the airport are ready to get more wounded survivors off planes and into ambulances. Nora, a hospital representative, told me some patients are so distraught after losing their family members, they're saying they want to die. Oh, Nikki, that is unimaginable. Thank you.